Okay, so what we've got here is a basement that's ready for backfill. That's what we're about to do with our little D3 over here. And uh, I just wanted to make a quick video for those of you unfamiliar with basement construction. Um, this one we dug the porch, and so the porch will actually get filled with dirt, brick, um, other sorts of materials. That'll get compacted, and then they'll pour a slab over the top of it. Um, here's the main part of the basement here. There's an egress well in the back. Um, down at the bottom here, you'll notice the pea stone. That's your drain, drain tile. That collects water that gathers around the house. It's connected into your sump pump, and that will run it up into your sump pump and get it away from the house. We can talk um, about a footer. If you look at the bottom of those walls, you'll notice a concrete strip sticking out about four inches from the walls. That's your footer. Um, that is about 10 inches thick, and that's the main supporting structure for all of your walls to go down to. So you've got temporary bracing there for the backfill. That's required by code um, so that the walls don't collapse. I can't remember. It's any wall over a certain amount of length, but I don't remember what the length is. So, But this is the, the general basement construction. Um, waterproofing material on the concrete to keep water out of the basement. So that's how it works. Um, let me swing over here. You'll see one of these done, a sewer and water tap done in a future video, but anyhow. This is what we do with our water and sewer line. We stub it up in the basement and that way the plumber can tap right into it when he's ready to. So that's what it looks like when we're done. Um, you can see the remnants of the crown. This water's got, or this basement's got water in it, but you can see the remnants of the crown. That's the raised part that we leave um, to save on P-Stone. So right over there, let's see if I can zoom in here. It's hard to see with the sun. That's where the drain tile comes in and links up with your sump. So, so there you go. There's a the basement. Now let's get her backfilled.